Hey everyone, here we have this Trail Runner 27 RKS, a really awesome rear kitchen floor plan. It actually comes out weighing 6,392 pounds with a overall length of 33 feet 11 inches. So here on the outside at the front, you got your power tongue jack and you even have this utility light so you can kind of see what you're doing um, even if you happen to get to the campground while it's still dark outside. A couple propane tanks are just behind there and then of course a spot for your battery. Uh, diamond plating at the bottom of your front cap to just help protect it. This is also a nice smooth front cap with aluminum siding and I just love the design on, on it. Um, I think it just looks great. Coming over on our camping side, you have some pass-through storage and it even has a magnetic latch for the door so you don't have to clip it with that little plastic piece. Front and rear power stabilizer jacks and as you can see there is no slide outs here on your camping side. Power awning as well to relax underneath and then at our main entrance you have the oversized grab handle for some extra stability getting in your camper and the solid steps that fold into your camper as well. Nice and sturdy um, especially for your kids running in and out, in and out of the camper or your uh, pets and they're great for people who've had knee or hip replacement surgery. Moving along, you have your cable hookup and some power. If you want to have a TV set up out here on a table, you can do that. Access to your water heater right here. Spare tire. And you also are prepped for a rear observation camera if you would like one. Outside shower as well. And then you have one slide out here on your non-camping side. City water connection. So now let's take a peek at the inside. All right, so coming all the way to the front and then working our way towards the back, we have our master bedroom, queen size bed, and it does lift up for some additional storage underneath. You actually could use it for extra blankets, pillows, sheets, anything that you want really. On each side, you have a nightstand for some decorations or personal belongings. And these black circles are actually wireless uh, charging stations for your phone. So if you have your camper all nice and plugged in, you can just place your phone on top of it and it actually charges. I know I am definitely one to forget my uh, charging cord everywhere. So this is definitely a plus if you happen to forget it. Above each is a closet locker with a built-in clothes rack. And you also have this uh, open shelf that extends across for more storage. And then if you can see, this opens into your closet storage as well. Um, but if you just had some personal belongings in there, like some snacks or something, you can really access it fairly easily from uh, just laying in bed. Windows on either side as well for some natural light coming in. And you also have a private entrance into the bathroom, which is really nice. So you don't have to wake anybody up if you need to use the restroom in the middle of the night. Spot for a TV um, at the end of your bed if you would want one too. Coming in here, we have our foot flush toilet to the left. A couple hooks for your towels and whatnot. And then you have your nice rounded out shower with plenty of room to turn around in. Skylight is up above as well. And then your medicine cabinet above your sink. And then, of course, your sink. Power if you need to plug something in. And more storage space down below. Now we are exiting the main entrance into the bathroom. I love that it is angled, so it's not super boxy with all the rooms in here. And it just opens up this space so you can put a uh, rug here if you would like. And it just creates more of a walking space and you're not feeling super cramped. Turning around into the rest of our camper, so this is where you can entertain, host, have your kids running around, pretty much do everything in here. On the opposite wall of your bathroom starts our entertainment center. You have some storage down below for board games and DVDs, open storage space, and then right here is a uh, controlling for your speaker system, for the TV, outside speakers, all of that stuff. And then you've got your swivel TV, more storage up above. And then to the left of that, you have your sleeper sofa. Uh, so this will fold out into a sleeping spot for your guests. And you actually have a couple clothed drawers underneath there for some more storage. I thought that was kind of cool. 
Across from there, you have uh, theater reclining seats, and these are not built in together, so you can move them every which way that you would like. Maybe have one turned more towards the TV. You decide, you get to choose however you want to position these. Next to your uh, sleeper sofa, you have a huge U-shaped dinette, so you can fit your whole family members in there, have a really fun uh, board game, card game going, or family dinner. And then coming into this gorgeous rear kitchen, and I, one thing I want to point out is I love all the color schemes in here. You have the warmer wooden tones here in the uh, trim of the slide out and in the floor, and then you have all of the white and charcoal grays, and then the accents of black. I just think it's gorgeous. Back to our kitchen, stainless steel refrigerator, and I'll show you the freezer. Next to that is your stainless steel microwave, range hood, three burner top stove with this glass cover so you can fold it up like so and be able to use it for uh, preventing splashes and grease and whatnot to get all over your walls and window. Or you can just use it for some extra countertop food prepping space if you need it. There is your oven. And then here in this U-shaped part, you have all of the storage even connecting underneath this a little bit taller uh, section. And it actually has, which I thought was pretty cool, a huge drawer that rolls out very easily so you can have all of your pantry goods in here. You don't have to have one of your kids crawl back there and reach it, the drawer comes out. Love that. And you have all of this countertop space just up above there and next to your stove. So really awesome that you have that. And then next to that is your stainless steel 50-50 split sink. Couple windows too for a lot of natural light coming in. And then you have another uh, shape, like an L shape for your cabinets with an interesting textured design on it. It's like vertical uh, lines, but I think it's really cool. And then that's what that looks like. So there you have it. Any questions or concerns about this trail runner, feel free to let us know and we'll be happy to help.